Hello, my friends. Uh, it is today, November the 7th, 2018. Hello from Grotniki near Łódź. Uh, Łódź in Poland. Uh, basically, this might be my last transmission ever. Uh, it might be a goodbye for good. Here's how things are. Um, for about five hours this morning, uh, you know, for just like totally simple tasks, you know, I would just be catching myself all over the place. I would not, you know, I had really difficulty to get myself together uh, and go about the business. Today, actually, yesterday, yesterday I should have been in the hospital already uh, to get the results from... Uh, CT scan. My blood samples obviously uh, are immaculate because, you know, just lately I started to use sugar, I would say, but other than that, uh, Polish diet is uh, within the immigration system is almost entirely without any uh, sugar, anything at all. Uh, barely. And sometimes you get some, uh, uh, you know, maybe a jam, something like that. But other than that, you don't get, you don't get any sugar. You don't, you don't consume any sugar at all. And when you can do exercise like I did, uh, weightlifting and walk 27, maybe even 30 kilometers a day with a backpack that is loaded with about 15-20 kilos on you uh, most likely you would not have uh, diabetes or anything like that I would say and uh, if you can do this already for quite some time like I did um, as you know I started this spring and you know blood samples don't show any of it then you probably don't have it uh, but what I do have, uh, because it's been lasting now already for about a year, in Slovenia uh, it would uh, appear, it would disappear, uh, then it went into a permanent state. My neighbor, Dane Kolenz, uh, who was here in Poland, right at this location, right here, told me that he's going to have to do something really dirty, something disgusting to get me out of the house. And he knew this exact scenario on how things are going to develop so he really did something disgusting something that uh, probably you know i would not even call a neighbor really uh this kind of a stuff uh, executioners basically do so this is how they got me out of the home they got me with what people refer to as directed energy weapons that's what they played over there in Slovenia for quite some time with Americans, with the Russians uh, and they play with that stuff also on me that the real scenario took place that's the one uh, right now basically uh, MK Ultra, you do believe me now there was a MK Ultra, right? you can't really doubt about MK Ultra I have to say Kaczynski uh, suggested that all the stuff that I have uh, is closed and I can go on and on and on and on and on I can go on about individuals in the city that are relating to details that would be extremely embarrassing for them um, but, you know, this is not something I want to do. I don't want to embarrass people. Um, I didn't come here to embarrass people. I didn't come here to create difficulties. I came here to help people. If the idea for me to come here was to, uh, you know, stuff that have happened, not because of me, but because of these politicians, was to somehow compensate people and reward society you know, do something good for the society. Um, this, however, is not going to happen. Um, this is not going to happen. Today, 
Yeah, after I pulled myself together, like I said, it took me about five hours to get myself somewhat together. Uh, I went inside of the gym and tried to do exercise, and I can tell you I could not even exercise. I was all beaten up. But somehow I did, somehow I did it, and it did help to clear my brain, it did help blood to circulate a little bit, push. I have no idea what directed energy can do to your brain, uh, except for what I was told by Kaczynski personally, and that is that it creates like dots, like a tumors, which, uh, you know, they can be increased uh, with additional exposure to it, and if they don't get removed at early stages, they develop when you get older into cancerous cells and then you have uh, problems that are no longer, uh, you can no longer cure them. But if that is a theory that is a real valid theory, probably they have created a lot, a lot of dots. And uh, some are bigger, some are smaller. And, you know, it means that this whole thing was completely unnecessary because, um, you know, there are certainly going to be dots that are going to stay. Uh, and certainly the idea here is to, you know, open skull and play really with a piece of meat inside with brain. I have other reasons why I feel so, and I will explain. Um, some I did on new site. I want to repeat them in live like this on video, so people can see it. But anyhow, after five hours, after I pulled myself together, I did go to bureau, and there was this gentleman who speaks very good English. Um, the usual lady that is there was not present. She's having vacation, something. And I did ask him, I explained him the situation really in detail. Uh, I might put video, audio, something online. I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. Uh, for me, I'm going to say things are pretty clear. And uh, you know, this doesn't do anything for me. It didn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for me. Uh, a physician, a doctor at this place. This is why I was so furious about, by the way, uh, I apologize to the nurse because um, I did suggest it that she didn't tell me where to hospital to go to when uh, sending me for blood samples, to have blood samples taken. Uh, the truth, however, is that she did one month and a half earlier she did uh and she kind of failed to write down the name of the hospital address and stuff like that since i'm not from here and polish is not exactly uh, my native language but other than that i apologize to her this was really my fault i realized later on i did reminded myself that she did tell me uh to go to the near city known as Giersch. uh not what uh you know, we concluded together with librarian, uh, like, Warsaw, because that was the only thing that was written on, uh, you know, on a, on an appointment uh, paper, you know, for examina examination paper, if you like. I did explain him in details um, the situation about my roommate, uh, what's going on, that they're playing with directed energy weapons. Another thing is, um, if you want to stick to MK Ultra scenario, the scenario was that, uh, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm just going to say that all the details I have collected, uh, you know, that were necessary to prove that I was subjected to MK Ultra, more than enough I have collected, I went way beyond that, and uh, I'm not gonna say I don't know why is it necessary to further expose me to MK Ultra because I will explain why these things are happening. I didn't go yesterday, I didn't go today. Today I didn't go because I was bitten up 
and I just wanted to place another audio about my roommate. I mean, if I'm gonna find one, I will. If I not, not. Uh, detail on how I go in the morning. This is about a month ago. He is a terrorist, a Chechen terrorist is what this individual is, a very dangerous criminal. They all are very dangerous criminals. He, uh, they have introduced into this ordeal a little boy that is right in the opposite side of uh, I'm going to say partner in our studio, if you like. Um, and this boy basically just looks like it's him. And it's a cute little boy. Just a, these children are cute, little children, but they are trained to do very, very dirty tricks. Uh, if you want to call this by their parents. They will go and, you know, do criminal things that things that let's say you walk in a hallway and they'll go right behind you and they'll just go and they'll just tear down from your backpack a zipper that they have done to me so it's but it's really interesting how they are trained you know stuff they do but at the same time cute and it's children and there's nothing you can say to the children of course uh, I wouldn't say to them you know this is just the children child is child child is at this age you know, they don't know what exactly they're doing uh, all their kids however are as criminal as possibly they can be criminal uh, talking about like 15 16 17 years old uh, already very dangerous um, would not allow to be inside of the gym basically you, know, you go exercise and physically and you do you know, some serious stuff, and you would have them, you know, transmit you on the internet. They're not the only one. It's a whole terrorist network here. Um, they record you, put you on the internet to God knows what locations. Uh, I don't know where, uh, maybe in Russia, maybe even some locations over there in the Middle East and so on. Uh, and make fun out of your, let's say, Polish language skills, uh, and not because it would be a coincidence, because they would not know, you know, something, it's exactly the opposite, know exactly what's going on. They participate in this stuff, and are doing, you know, trying to, you know, like, uh, destabilized individual with all kinds of issues like Germany this and that and uh, making poking fun out of somebody that is hit with direct energy weapons you have no idea how difficult it is to go study language like this and if this is what it takes for Poland yeah, to learn Polish language I would have learned one like this too even though this is extremely difficult and they have proven me how difficult it is one day they did not hit me with directed energy weapons uh, and all of a sudden the words that you read they all appear in your head but when they hit you with directed energy weapon, you don't know anything. You don't know absolutely anything what's going on. Uh, and, you know, making fun out of somebody like this because of what you already have done to the person. Uh, this is just... I don't know. To me, this is foremost uh, sick. It's evil. Uh, I don't think this... I don't really think so that Allah likes that. Uh, God say, don't lie, don't steal. Uh, you know, I don't think Allah would like that, that those kind of children either. I think that is as evil as possibly can be. Um, have explained individual in the office really in detail about what's going on. In my head, 
exactly what they have talked about under the Kyoto the case would be. It would be a pot, a cooking pot effect, basically a pot with a valve on the top and I hear this like this and it's just, you know, pressure and I have demonstrated to exactly the the symptoms of type of I'm not gonna go over here now Android it's not precisely what Kaczynski have talked about but it's it's related I might put a link below if it's if I'm gonna do that um, it's related to a fluid uh, within brain that creates a pressure uh, because it swallows and um, it's like a cooking pot effect basically it's I had also a headache today and this kind of cooking pot effect goes on 24 hours uh, it did not go on when I entered Poland from Slovakia it stopped I will not forget that just so I could tell the physician that I am fine that there is no problem with absolutely anything because I assume that it's gonna go away because when I came from Slovenia it would be on and off on and off occasionally yes occasionally not uh, and pretty very similar was when I went to this examination it decreased then after examination it increased again um, I have explained a gentleman very much in detail about what's going on as you know I have received death threats uh, from a Chechen individual over there who also lied all kinds of stuff over there already before about me then he goes inside of my room and, and you know start to tell me whether I should wear shoes or not and then give you know when you ask him out give you death threats got death threats also from my roommate yesterday uh, and about my roommate I just want to say about a month ago I didn't finish that either you know go like six o'clock you go to the city look for apartments or the job even I don't care immigration sees this I don't give a shit about immigration like this they have violated Polish law and constitution and everything so many times that uh, honest to God uh, stolen money that is otherwise given to immigrants even uh, you know for expenses that were related to the mailing services postal services basically transportation suffers I really don't give a shit uh, anyhow this might be my last transmission so related to the little boy that and MK Ultra under MK Ultra he explained himself as someone who would absolutely do absolutely everything for the little children little children are cute not the children from our countries exactly but they're cute children they look like a Russian a little children like this more or less and I love children for one way or another I adore children um, and if I would do anything bad because from the moment I came I was a bad man uh, anything bad to them anything bad to them translates into revealing the whole thing because it was all about abductions about the terror under MK Ultra. Uh, he would go and he would cut my throat really this was my roommate this was his MK Ultra scenario and boy I hope I find that audio when I came home about a month ago like it's like I said left at 6 in the morning and came back maybe maybe even at 10 o'clock maybe something like this had a long day walked all over the city with a backpack loaded and so on and have gestured me uh, you know the first thing you do you 
I always try to have a smile on my face. Walk through the door, you say, hi, how are you? And the only thing you get in return is uh, you know, uh, in Russian, uh, it's time for us to die. Yeah. Um, basically, the whole month did not go to work. The whole month did not clean the room, did not clean the floor, did not take a single time trash out. He would only go and smoke inside of the shower area with a friend, which it doesn't bother me. They can do whatever they want, you know, as long as, and I will clean and do whatever, you know, as long as, uh, you know, my safety is not affected or some other issues pop up. Uh, oh, basically, Donald Trump and his crew, it was a scenario. They, they created a scenario like this, how the terror is going to be. They help Ruskies how to terrorize, how to, you know, make your brain completely quit, you know, with so much terror. Uh, you know, brainwash on how I am a Jesus and he is, you know, some bad person who's going to do something bad anytime and stuff like this. Ask questions. Would you go inside of the room with a guy like this again? Would you go and sleep that same night and stuff like that? Then they have created a whole bunch of uh, scenarios. They, they would like a panic, like they would not want to go inside the room, want to sleep out, ask the security, this and that. I didn't. I was a little bit confused. Um, a little bit confused because it is unpleasant uh, if somebody promise you this is going to do something and pretty much they have done everything they have promised they would do. Except stuff like this they haven't done. And, you know, I, I kind of thought, well, if they're going to do that as well as mine, you know, because uh, if it's something like this is going to happen, uh, this isn't going to happen because of, uh, because of me. It's going to happen because of the people who have compelled me in these types of circumstances. So, you know, I didn't do anything to deserve this. Uh, now, why should I worry, therefore, about this? I realize the guy more than not is an actor. I don't think he would do this. He he pretends, he acts crazy. Um, not even yesterday when he life-threatened and stuff like that, it was not that he would, you know, it's just, I don't think he's a type of individual that would actually go and do it. Uh, but they just, you know, um, they do that kind of stuff to, you know, to create all kinds of different uh, emotional, all kinds of scenarios, confused person and, uh, you know, all through the stuff like that, uh, when stuff like this happens, this is the strangest, the craziest shit I have ever heard that you would actually audio record it. Uh, he stated this in front of the person, in front of the security officer, that he will kill me, that he will get me a, you know, a roommate and then to be told by the owner of the building basically to stay inside with him for the night when I asked for the possibilities that I could even stay somewhere inside of the gym or some other location just for the night and so tomorrow I could talk to the gentleman I'm about to explain now um, they did not listen uh, to my plea and I was forced to sleep inside you know I don't care I really don't care really uh, I don't know if they realize this or not but I really don't care um, was explaining the tale about what's going on uh, the immigration director got you know, uh, these people got uh, already it did happen already that it got to their attention because of the lady that was in the bureau. She did email them. Uh, they did play with this apartment rental. They, they discouraged when I would go out there and advertise. 
and they would just not give me you know a green light so that I could go and you know rent this you know place of my own whatever um, however despite my explaining him uh, really the whole thing about this apartment rental and despite my submitting um, and then I was told by the lady from the bureau that after he received the you know videos and stuff like that that yeah that he would actually uh, consider now that the temporary option which was you know, if you want to call that disabled um, I am all messed up folks I'm sorry uh, my head hurts it's very difficult look uh, it did happen 12 hours ago when I got up and I'm still so bitten up feel much better but uh, this is this is this is what they do this is what they do it's hard a temporary option lease option lodging seven for 750 is lot 180 euros was suspended uh, that it was again opened and I could go and submit the application which I did really did about I think 11 days ago I'm not gonna say two weeks but I think it was 11 days ago something like that closer to two weeks I would say um, on what no answer ever arrived even that I got this place um, it's a cheap place um, but with the costs that would come along, uh, I would have to pay for it. Sorry about that. Uh, that I would eventually have to pay for electricity and everything else. Uh, it would probably amount to about uh, the same, uh, you know, something like that. You know, 450 maybe zloty, something like that. Uh, and then the food you would have to pay. Uh, yourself and so on so it's a really a cheap it's a great opportunity but uh, still uh, not something that uh, you know it would be free or something like that uh, no answer ever um, anything like this the only thing I was told is they have 30 days to answer let's go back to my situation in respect to the hospital i know i go back and forth but i do this because it doesn't make sense if you listen attentively you will understand my situation um, if you don't have a diabetes if you don't have a blood problems and i was told it's perfect then obviously you do have something going on with a brain tumor and they have signaled me here it was all kinds of signals that they're doing this kind of stuff um, yeah I'm just gonna put it this way um, I'm gonna put it like this just as I have told uh, you know someone today well whatever they do whatever they have done it was not done they have done with a great intensity but just as American guy stated in Monday the day before yesterday I'm a healthy individual it's not healthy it's being strong okay uh, healthy is like a general but strong means to do the stuff I do okay um, that's something not just anybody can do and because of that kind of stuff the stuff they have done the stuff they have to calculate it would work would do enough damage to my uh, brain core probably uh, did not and so it's bad yes it's it's definitely it's bad but uh, well it's not bad to the point that um, you know it could not stop if I would if I if this exposure to radiation would be stopped uh, it probably I would probably normalize the situation with my brain probably would normalize but they don't want to do this stuff what they want to do is they want to get inside of my skull they want to play with the brain 
You know, it's not only a brain tumor. Uh, the girl appeared also yesterday, uh, actually on Monday, day before yesterday, at this location over there uh, in the hospital where they, they do the scan, head scan. Uh, and it was the same girl that was there already in 2005, 2006, the very same girl with a mom. Um, I hope she doesn't have a, a brain cancer. I did not take a photo of her. I should, but I didn't. I didn't because I felt that they are trying to prepare me on how, what am I going to go through and that everything is going to be okay and stuff like that. Uh, had a shirt, you know, Tatra, and she got this shirt, she got this from Kaczynski, got her a trip to her and to her mom, to Tatras, so she could recuperate, recover herself. Uh, I sincerely hope that she, she doesn't look like she did uh, yesterday, I mean the day before yesterday. Uh, but this, is, this should be something that uh, I should just know would happen. There was also someone special involved in this stuff that uh, then yesterday blocked me. Uh, no longer seems like he's interested in uh, me even writing her or anything like this. And frankly, I don't want anymore. It's over now. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Once you block a person on a Facebook, then no, I don't want to do this. I have exposed, uh, she challenged me on how I don't even know her and stuff like this. The truth is that I knew about her a little encyclopedia and the stuff that she does not even know about herself, I knew from people, uh, from other people, okay, that much about MK Ultra. Uh, I thought it would work out somehow. I thought it would mean something to her that... Uh, you know, that, that my memory was full of her. But, you know, sometimes things don't work out, but that's okay. Um, and that's how everything would be okay, and so on and so forth. Uh, no, this is not okay. These are lies. Uh, it's not okay. Uh, I was told this is going to be necessary, uh, you know, part of the procedure. This is going to be for the Poland. No, this is not for the Poland. This is to mislead the world. This is to mislead the Polish people. This is to spit on God. And I'm not the person for that. Uh, mislead meaning that, you know, the whole case, which was orchestrated by Moscow, Moscow does not even mind to admit stuff they do as long as now 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 because I insist now because I didn't want to go to Russia as you know the idea was to get me to Russia first second idea was to block me from applying uh, for political asylum in Poland through the bunch of uh, physical assaults through uh, verbal and all kinds of stuff they did uh, that's how they believe I'm going to return back the same way. All kinds of frustration, computer problems, destruction of equipment and stuff like this. Extremely intense. And uh, then this kind of stuff grew into, um, you know, I other kind of ideas. Now it's uh, even into something else, into a totally different kind of scenario. Um, if I would get to this stage, and I did, how uh, mislead? Mislead because the money that Moscow got, the money that Belgrade got, uh, the money that was even given to Slovenia, for Slovenia, to rebuild Slovenia, that was the money that Kuchan, Milan Kuchan, and Borut Paha and all that elite, I don't like to use the word communist elite because these people are not even people, you know. 
um, religious, political, uh, you know, first you have to be a human being so you can be taken seriously. And unfortunately, this are, they are taken seriously based on, you know, the crime they perform. And, uh, you know, they have stolen, they have ripped all the money from us and give to aggressor, somebody who attacked us, you know, in 91, with the tanks, with the planes, have dropped bombs on us. Uh, somebody that attacked Croatia, somebody that did the same, much worse to Bosnia, Croatia, Kosovo, uh, very bad things to Macedonia, very bad things to Montenegro. They went and they rewarded them with the cash, with the money taken from our people and giving to someone like this so they could rattle again uh, with the tanks, which is happening now. And pretty much the same situation was with the Kaczynski in Russia. Uh, the money should be given to Poland, was given to Russia, uh, because, you know, just because this kind of paranoia, schizophrenia that involves World War II issues, you know, idea how the Russia saved Poland, which it did, it did, but don't forget it was the U.S., don't forget it was the Britain that saved Russia. Uh, you know, if you want to go into that stuff. Uh, but, you know, who knows what kind of issues does he, uh, you know, did he consider it? Uh, uh, who knows what kind of issues did he consider when he made those kind of decisions? Uh, you know, he makes a bunch of issues, decisions that um, I don't like to bad mouth about individual, um, but um, I really don't like to do that. I am trying always to see positive stuff, but mislead because. Even if I would not succeed to convince uh, about political situation in Poland, Poland would still get the money according to him. So that really is mislead because trying to mislead and Polish people about what's going on, none of this stuff was necessary to do to, do to me. Uh, none of it was necessary. Maybe necessary to. Um, you know, till I would gather the proofs. But according to MK Archer scenario alone, once you go beyond those proofs, this, these things would not be necessary. Uh, so, meaning that this exposure that is taking place now is for completely other reasons, for the reasons I have, for the reasons I have mentioned. I do just a comedy. So I feel that none of this stuff really was necessary. Yeah, none of this was necessary. Um, you just you just have other agenda, and when you say you just have other agenda, I'm going to repeat the words of Borut Pahor, Slovenian criminal. He kills for me, I kill for him, and he kills, uh, he killed for him, and he killed for him, and he killed for him. And you're talking about Miller Zeman, and you're talking about Kaczynski, and you're talking about these Eastern European politicians, meaning that once they get you out of your country to their country, uh, you are in, if not in the same, maybe even in worse situation, because they're going to do the job you know, for other political individual with whom they're all in the game. So, um, mislead, okay, mislead because you involved a church, you involved that, you know, a philosophy that, you know, you take pain, suffering away from poor people, 
and involve in MK Ultra scenario in Prusko, you involved people that were homeless people, people that had poor people, impoverished people whom I would love to help. I think anybody would want to help, uh, you know, to make it believe that I would contribute something positive to the society, to the people, to the suffering. Um, you know, related to the Bible, they were even close to the church. When in fact, this is just the plain deal on how to murder individual and even have him believe that allowing someone, him allowing someone to, you know, to use a scalpel on his brain uh, is just the right thing to do. And we can go to scenario under NK Ultra that suggested that you can have ups, you can have downs when you kill yourself for brain cancer, which will explain that if you do something that is not political wise, that can cause problems, that health only worsens and stuff like this. We can go to the issue on how many people were brought two days ago when I was there on a, on wheels to this very department for head scan and stuff like this, all that suffering that you have represented me uh, for me to see that in Poland things are like this or it's going to be like that basically uh, mislead mislead because this really is not about taking away pain and suffering from poor people you know once you say you can get money one also the other way that you're going to get one one way or the uh, another Mr. John Bolton, you understand what I'm talking about to you right now. Uh, this is about mislead. And that's exactly what I was also told by American partners. Uh, it would contribute. Uh, they would do the stuff like this. So, uh, you know, they need to have some kind of alibi so they can do this. But all in all, uh, you know, Russia did not want this to happen, uh, but if there wouldn't be other ways, it would not become explicit, so it would not become so evident about what's going on. Yeah, they would do whatever it takes to even recognize this and give Polish people a little piece of something that was already stolen from them a long, long time ago. So this is mislead. This is not about God, this is not about the Bible, this is not about, this is not about, you know, this is fake, this is completely fake, and especially when I consider the stuff you have done to me, the thoughts, your thoughts that, you know, your fantasies, MK Ultra fantasies, you know, because I, you, I like to use the word fantasy because the, the people in the center, they fantasize. They don't see the person that stands in front of them. They see somebody they, they were capable to put their filthy hands on. I've never seen such a filthy people as this. This Chechen, Russian Chechens, I have never seen anything as filthy as this. I have never seen anything as criminal and as filthy as this in my lifetime. This is obnoxious, filthy, and it is not Chechen. And it is not even Russian. It is just so criminal. It doesn't have nothing to do with Islam. Uh, believe me, even somewhat, you know, modest, uh, you know, somewhat religious uh, Muslim people, they would totally reject this type of uh, atmosphere. It is as criminal as it gets. Disgusting. So, mislead big time, mislead, you know, fantasies, because I'm a completely different person you were playing with under MK Ultra. You know, I did not show any fear to you. Uh, instead, what I did was I have faced your fears. You know, what you feared the most, 
the outcome of the MK Ultra scenario would be, this is exactly what you got from me. I know it's a little bit harder for you to see that something like this is possible. Never mind. Uh, Donald Trump, I'm just going to say to you, there were people under MK Ultra, a bigger people than you, a whole bunch of them that also suggested that they're going to take care of your children and your grandchildren. In fact, they have suggested that you're going to get worse than what I got, than what you got me. I just want you to know this. If you would do this stuff like this, you did, you did it. This, this, this. My blood is going to be on your hands. It's going to be on Kaczynski and others I have mentioned. You did this. You did it. You compelled into this kind of situation. So this is going to be on your hands, and you're not going to wash one down, not easily. Now, I have explained in the video in details about what's going on. Asking for another room. If you Google Ulcer Times, you're going to get about 200 million results. That's me alone publishing news. It's a lot. I'm not such an unknown person. And while I was placed even with the two terrorists inside of the room, there were people, zero point nothing, nobodies, that had empty rooms for whole months, for entire months. They would have, this is a big place. But of course under MK Ultra they have created a scenario with which they have compelled the building owner to you know, state me that um, something like this would not be possible. And even if something like this would be possible, you cannot stop directed energy weapon anyways. They can hit you from outside, from other room, from top, from below, whatever the case might be. You can, there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. By the way, my right arm, hand recuperated. Um, but I do think that it might be using that from below me or top, I don't know, attic area, whatever it is. I have no idea. Uh, and it recuperated after one month being completely weak. But after I published on a new site that I get hit from this site, from that apartment right there, um, things changed very quickly. Uh, not for better, but uh, seems like they repositioned whatever they used. A building owner is a really nice lady and a really nice gentleman who did some bad things, which I will not discuss. because I am here to help people. This was the idea was for me to come here, not to encourage division, not to encourage um, problems, but instead help whoever was affected and whoever, of course, would do something good for me, whatever. Uh, this was the idea. Never mind the idea anymore. Who had the top Russians, like not only top Russians, but also Putin, walk? And they did orchestrate this several times. They would go through the door, go through the door, and let me know that not only they're going to let them in, it's going to be just like this. How much is this little lady and her husband, how much these people could do? If these people could, these people would help me a lot. They already tried to help me out. Um, 
there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do because of the stuff I have talked about. Because people that are persecuted in Eastern Europe, they leave their countries and they go abroad. They go to the West, even if they go to the West. But mostly they would go to Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, you know, like this. Who knows what the situation is in Ukraine, I don't know. The thing is that they send, you know, crews like this, crews from, um, you know, their homelands right into the immigration system. It's the same in the Germany, it's the same elsewhere, I remember. And these people, what they would do is they would precisely do the stuff uh, that was done to me, meaning that if somebody's important, if they target a certain individual, they're going to get the crews together, they assemble the crews, and they do something very bad to the person. And so now, if you're not complying with this type of uh, system, you can tell you Kaczynski was compliant, uh, Polish politic is compliant with it, then what happens is they do something uh, very, very dirty, they do something very bad. Uh, to you and it doesn't matter if you have a lot of money because you know there's always a way there's always something bigger in you there's always something is atop of you so this this little lady and her husband they could not do they could not do really absolutely anything about it even as much as they would want to help me okay I just want to say this they're not bad people they're good people um, but you know I'm just trying to explain the circumstances if anything happens whatever so the people can understand really, uh, you know, who to blame, who is guilty for what. You know, they are not guilty. They are really not guilty. Uh, very bad stuff have happened to the ladies. You have no idea. The girl came out the other day out of the building and kind of suggested me. That's why I didn't want to put the video, you know, the audio, her audio. It was a whole bunch of other people I have audio recorded that I asked them, the neighbors of this individual, and they would not say yes or no. They would say, I don't know. And they were scared when I asked the question. You know. Nothing, pretty much, even the ladies that were affected by this stuff. Um, it's quite horrible, you know, when you consider this, that... Such a beautiful place, everything, uh, you know, can be, can have, uh, you know, behind the curtain, can hide completely different, uh, you know, issues. Individual that was presented with my situation inside of the apartment, I did not go anywhere near did that. I have explained, in which I have explained to you the situation right now. Uh, have contacted um, Varshow and got in response instead uh, this very letter. I'm gonna put it. I hope you, you can see it. Let's do it like this. If you're really really interested in it, uh, as he explained to me, the letter. What you can do is you can just use a paint and you can cut piece of it and then copy paste this side and you join them together and you like get the whole text of course in a Polish language what it states basically is that uh, I should come and see a boss over there in Warsaw on Tower of 33 on 15 of this month well, today's the 7, that's going to be in about 8 days. That's quite far from today. Imagine to go back in there and get the same type of treatment. Uh, before I even go for the results tomorrow, I believe the idea here is to inflate, you know, inflate uh, damage. Uh, done to brain to the point that I would be required whether I like it or not what they probably would do is they would schedule me for another um, you know appointments um, in a hospital where it would show that 
is growing basically that's probably what the idea is and it's unstoppable now it's necessary to do if you don't do it then you die and stuff like that even probably so uh, that's what I think the scenario is and I'm I'm pretty damn certain that's exactly what 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 the situation is okay we're gonna find out tomorrow what's going on in respect to this stuff um, for me a little bit hard to believe that no room nothing would be available until 15 and a little bit hard to believe that with the seventh is lottie which supposedly i don't even know if i'm gonna wait for those seventh is lottie uh we would receive i don't know in three days i don't know what four or five days whatever uh i would be traveling uh to the Varsho. Uh, of course uh the ticket is quite expensive this is about 90 kilometer from here uh a girl told me today this is about 150 slot the ticket alone uh they would not pay for the expenses again i have no idea how this works uh i have no idea uh, that they would give i don't know they give credit but they don't give it the money and this and that um i don't know why would i go over there for i don't understand what what my business is over there um foremost this is a business for the police when you take a situation like this seriously the police comes they take your report as a matter of fact i already have submitted them reports they protect you as a human being they place you on a safe location uh, but we got uh, we got completely completely different issues going on here we have some kind of games going on and none of that stuff is of my interest that's all i gotta say uh, you're not gonna see me on the 15 that is so damn sure uh, this is a matter for the police this is not a matter for uh, someone in Taboro or 33 i'm just gonna put it this way not that i would not want to comply but uh, you know let's go back to expenses uh, i was also given a paper where it explains that for the postal office you don't get paid you don't get paid for you know all kinds of stuff wish somebody else told me that earlier so i would not waste my money when asked to reply to polish immigration with answer uh, on how I'm not even allowed to apply for protection in Poland. It would be nice. Uh, weird situation, I'm going to say it is. It is weird. Um, not serious situation uh, for the people that are not affected. But very difficult situation for me. Tonight, I'm going to sleep outside. I will not go anymore inside of that uh, terrorist hall. I don't want to see these people ever again, to be honest with you. They are unpleasant. They are uncivilized. Uh, they have... They even use children for very low stuff. They use directed energy weapons to torture, to torment your brain. They have different kind of weapons one weapon would be would charge and discharge energy the other weapon however the one today did not do the same things as the other one did but it left me totally like right now i can tell you right now i'm still when i move my head like this it, it feels like it goes you go like this and it feels like it's going like this you go like that and it feels like it's going like that slowly you have no idea what these people do, what these people have done to me. When they 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 expect you're gonna go in there, you're gonna sleep. The girl said today, well, the state is gonna if you go out there in the forest and you sleep, the state is gonna consider you uh, as not uh, normal and and stuff like this. Yeah. Um, who? What? What? What kind of state? I mean, I, I don't understand. I, I don't. I don't get. I don't get this shit at all. 
state is going to consider after violating the law severely totally everything that law stands for is going to consider someone that have violated is not normal that is crazy as shit one of the craziest things i have ever heard for especially when you're found guilty especially when state is found the one to be guilty of perpetrating this kind of criminal acts I mean, how the hell is this how should that stuff concern me i mean really does not touch me even a little bit so but this is a situation which i pretty much plan on resolving as fast as possible um Russians and Chechens um, insist on calling me American. Uh, the thing, however, is that uh, I am less human being than I almost feel like any human being in this world. Um, Everybody shits on me. I get diarrhea even from a Russian terrorists in Poland. From Chechen terrorists over there. Sent here by Kadyrov, by Putin. I'm nobody. When I consider all this stuff, I'm nobody. And the last thing I would want to be is uh, basically somebody they would want me to be. After everything what they have done under MK Ultra, their sick fantasies, that you would actually go and you know <laughs> allow somebody to do something like this to you and you know try to cure yourself for something that was done to you deliberately and for something that you were told that it will be repeated to you if you will state anything against anyone the system this is the most disgusting filthy thing i have ever heard for so far i got paid less than nothing 70 zloty per month is basically what i got and when i draw the line for the last 13 years when intensive mk ultra torture stopped it did not was much different from this shit if this is what I got in Slovenia, it was about 3,000 euros for the 12 years I was there. Something like this, basically. I lived like a rat, like a... No, 